Oh, hi there, worship team. I just wanted to come with you and share a few thoughts that I have coming into this next season. And the, one of those things is that I'd love to have a response from you about what we can do to pull us together to read this book that's called How to Worship a King by Zach Neese. He's a worship pastor. And it really kind of gets, I'd love us to get to the place where we are being empowered to worship empowered from our worship of God to do the things that we need to to reach a world that is tremendously lost and I think so much of that comes from uh, worship I, I think great things happen when we worship uh, and and what is it that what that means and when we come to worship God I mean what should happen um, what is our expectation? Um, where is the power that should be in our worship? Um, and it helps us to under, understand where, what have we made it to be and how can we become the worshipers that God has designed us to be? Uh, I, I think we're sometimes lacking the power within our worship to be what God has designed it to be. And, and I want us to get us back to that. So here's the question. How can we do that? Is that a video where I just share those things? I'm, I'm nervous about that one because I would love to have us define that and, and to discover that together. So is that more of a Sunday school thing where the ones that are not involved in the contemporary band, vocals, and tech um, are out for that given week, but everybody else can? Maybe that would work. Uh, or is it a uh, small group kind of a thing? Um, just how best do you think we can do that to, to read this book together? Um, maybe even look through the book on your own. It's How to Worship a King by Zach Neese. It's got a picture of a kind of a white lion on the front. And then also, I would like to do some tech training this fall on sound, on pro presenter, and on camera specifically. And so be looking for those opportunities to grow in those areas just wanting to make our um our our presentation online uh just as good as what is happening in the house so that uh, people can engage with us so much of our front door needs to improve which in our front door is basically online people are not waiting to just waiting until they get into the church to have that be our front door they're checking us out from a distance and I just think that we can improve that area and uh, to do those things better on sound camera and and uh, and pro presenter so uh, be looking for those opportunities to grow it might be I might bring you in it might I might just um, uh, do a video kind of a thing as well but uh, if you have any other thoughts on how best to improve uh, those areas feel free to let me know as well um, uh, one of the things that I'm planning on doing, especially with sound, is just to simply run sound uh, every once in a while, just so that I can understand what are the issues that we're facing and, and what, are the, what are the solutions that we can create. Um, and uh, so I'll be running sound every once in a while, just to be able to discover those things. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys so much in terms of leading worship. And, um, uh, and, and, and leaning into God together. Uh, I encourage you to uh, be together um, as well and, and, and connect with one another. Go out of your way to connect with one another. I think the, that our worship with God can be so much greater and so much better if we do it together rather than just a bunch of different people coming together at a certain given time and doing that week and then we do it back the same week again later next week so yeah keep growing keep keep loving jesus and we'll talk to you soon